to the first video we have of him. This was moments ago. Um, the president, for some reason, not wearing a mask, even though he tested positive for COVID. He's saying he's good. I feel good if, you, if we're reading his lips. Uh, he's going to head back on Air Force One, fly back over to the White House. He may spend the weekend in Delaware. Those are the plans right now, but you never know. I'm sure they're going to monitor him uh, hour by hour and day by day. He's obviously in his 80s, and they have to watch him closely. This also comes at a terrible time for him because America's watching him right now to sort of see how he's doing, how he's feeling, how his strength is. We all see it. We all see it. Joe Biden, who is triple vaxxed, triple masked, and of course, if you go to any of his rallies, encourages huge amounts of social distancing. But despite all of those precautions, somehow he still caught COVID. And this, of course, has taken him off the campaign trail as he heads back home to relax from his already relaxing schedule of doing nothing but like one event per week. So of course, this is going to hurt his campaign tremendously. And this is gonna be pointed out today in tremendous fashion by the talking heads. But before we get to video clips, please like and comment so we can break through the algorithms. Here we go. All these conversations, to Casey's point, Adam Schiff is significant, senior Democrat in California, probably the next senator from California, so close to Pelosi, he wouldn't do it without checking with her. What people are saying is they're just hoping the White House gets the message. If not, everyone's talking about next week. They'll be polling a few days after this convention. Everyone expects it will be even worse for the president. Plus, there's the private internal polling. Everyone says, we hope the president makes this decision. Otherwise, look for early next week to be a tipping point. Dan? Yeah. Look, there, there are a lot of people who want Biden to stay in. I want to just keep pointing out there's still grassroots love for Joe Biden. Everybody doesn't agree. But today is a terrible day. Uh, if, you, if, you just, if you pull back and look at this thing, strength versus weakness, a bullet couldn't stop Trump. A virus just stopped Biden. You've got the nominees of this party getting their butts kissed. Biden's getting his butt kicked by his own party. The Democrats are coming apart. The Republicans are coming together. That's what's happening. And at some point, this party has to look at the reality of that. And yeah. let, let me just Van Jones right there saying some really hard truths for the left to hear. Republicans are coming together. Democrats are pulling apart. Donald Trump is looking stronger and more powerful than ever after an assassination attempt, while Joe Biden, of course, is taken out by COVID, something that, of course, he shouldn't be able to get because the vaccine protects you 100% from passing it or transmitting it, right? Right? That's exactly what happens. But of course, we have to recognize that Joe Biden, being 175 years old, is actually at risk of dying from the flu or a cold or COVID. But then again, I'm being redundant, aren't I? <laughs> so of course, this is the reality that the Democrats are facing right now, that the Joe Biden campaign is facing. However, if you talk to Joe Reed, who lives in delusion land, apparently, it's the same exact thing, right? Joe Biden getting COVID is the same thing as Donald Trump having attempted assassination upon his life. Here's the question that I have on that. These two men are both elderly. Donald Trump is an elderly man who, for whatever reason, was given nine seconds to take a iconic photo op during an active shooter uh, situation. Weird situation. We'll figure that out one day. Um, but his survival of that and, and bouncing right back and going right to his convention is being conveyed in the media world as a sign of strength. This uh, current president of the United States is 81 years old and has COVID. Should he be fine in a couple of days? Doesn't that convey exactly the same thing? that he's strong enough, older than Trump, to have gotten something that used to really be fatal to people his age. So if he does fine out of it and comes back and is able to do rallies, isn't that exactly the same? It, it sure. I mean, it's not exactly the same. It's not the same incident, but it's, all, it's an elderly man it, coming through out of an illness. It should. I can't believe Joy Reid actually gets paid to have hot takes like that, all right? Joe Biden catches the virus. Donald Trump dodges a bullet. It's the exact same thing, provided, of course, Joe Biden survives. <laughs> so yes, Joe Biden is incredibly elderly and feeble. And guess what? Donald Trump is also old, but he is not feeble. I like I like how she also says, oh, for whatever reason, Donald Trump had nine seconds to take that iconic photo. Could it be because the ladies over there at the Secret Service couldn't possibly move him if their lives depended on it? I mean, I'm just saying. It seems like a standard prerequisite for the Secret Services to be able to carry the current weight of the current president. 
that, that's all I'm going to say on that. But of course, everyone is starting to recognize that, yes, Joe Biden is basically done with his candidacy at this point. It's over. Check this out from the morning, Joe. Joe and Mika, I, you, Joe, you pointed to the, this AP poll. The argument from the campaign has been it's elites, it's the media trying to push Joe Biden out. What we've said all along over the last three weeks is that's just not the case. All you have to do is go to the grocery store or go to the dry cleaner or the gas station. It's what people are talking about his age after that. And frankly, there were a lot of people rooting for Joe Biden in these last three weeks, waiting for these interviews, watching the performances, and clearly not assured when you see that 65 percent of Democrats, not just Americans, of Democrats believe it's time for him to step out of the race. Right. And, and you can look at all the poll. Listen, here's the deal. There's 110 days left. We've said this time and time again. I, I, we've seen polls. Anybody that remembers 1980 remembers that on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday before the election, the race was too close to call. And suddenly there was a massive break toward Ronald Reagan the final weekend. Reagan wins a massive landslide in 1980 over Jimmy Carter. You can go to 1988. There's Michael Dukakis. He's up by 15, 16, 17 points in this summer. George H.W. Bush mocked, ridiculed. This race is over. Democrats were saying completely confident George H.W. Bush wins in a landslide. That said, show me any candidate from any year running for any position where he gets to the general election and two thirds of his own party do not want him to run. I don't care if it's Joe Biden in 2024, if it's Joe Scarborough in like 1996, if it's a mayor running uh, in 2014, that candidate is going to lose. Those are numbers you just can't get past me. Okay. I want to backtrack to the beginning of that segment, right? They're saying if you actually go out and talk to people at the grocery store and at the gas station, they don't want Joe Biden to run. Yeah, that's what we've been saying forever. Joe Biden is not popular. The economy is not doing great. The world stage is ruined and everyone knows it's on Joe Biden. It's only been the leftist elite media moguls, tech moguls, billionaires who've been saying, hey, we got to prop this guy up. America's doing great. It's better than ever. You just don't recognize it. So for them to actually come out and have the gall, the audacity to say, oh yeah, if you actually talk to the average person, they don't want Joe Biden out there. And of course here they're translating it into, yeah, 65% of the Democrats don't want Joe Biden as their candidate. And you can't get past those numbers. As Joe Scarborough points out, finally, after this huge monologue, yeah, he can't win with numbers like that. Something we've all been pointing out for months on this particular channel. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay safe out there, people, because they're coming after you.